Why SARS cannot be scrapped? Nigerian Police Force PRO, Frank Mba. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We hope you are doing well today, wherever you are. Thank you for following us. We'd like you to please like this post and share with your friends. And also, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now let's get back to the story. The Nigerian Police Force on Friday said that the Special Anti-Robbery Squad SARS cannot be scrapped because they are deeply involved in the fight against the Boko Haram insurgents and bandits in the northern part of the country. The first public relations officer, Frank Umba, said this. There have been persistent calls for the scrapping of the outfit, primarily saddled with combating armed robbery and other violent crimes in the country. With protests across the country over the harassment, extortion, and extrajudicial killings of innocent Nigerians. In reaction to the outrage, the Inspector General of uh, Police, Mohamed Adamu, banned SARS personnel from engaging in routine patrols, stop and search, mounting of roadblocks, and traffic checks with immediate effect. These have, however, uh, failed to appease the growing NSARS movement who are insisting that the outfit be scrapped outrightly. Mba, however, explained that the MPF under IGP Adamo was committed to reforming SARS, quoting uh, Mr. Mba, the police uh, PRO. I have heard some critics say these instructions have been given before, but I will challenge uh, them to produce any other IGP that has given these instructions very clearly articulated them very clearly as IGP Adamu has said, end of quote. He also appealed to the general public to give the police some time for the full implementation of the IGP's instruction, noting that different people have different motivations for calling for the end of SARS, but the force will do everything possible uh, to get rid of these elements within SARS. Mba said, and I quote, if NSARS is a metaphor and is seen as a call for a public or a symbolic reform of SARS, I will say clearly that the leadership of the MPF is in line and is ready to work with those who are making that call. However, if the NSARS uh, movement should be seen and uh, interpreted as a total disbandment of SARS, I'll tell you very clearly that it will be difficult for any responsible organization to walk that path, taking into cognizance the amount of investment that government has made in training and uh, setting up the department, taking into cognizance the critical role that that department is playing. As a matter of fact, we have also received a lot of calls from people, particularly in states like Yobe, Meduguri, Katsina, and other parts of the north, where SARS operatives are deeply embedded in the fight against banditry and in the fight against insurgency. And these people have made it very clear that ending SARS is not even an option for them because of the critical roles that SARS operatives are playing in those areas to rain down heavily on bandits, on terrorists, and other kinds of uh, violent criminals. So uh, this uh, news uh, coming in just now, it's just... Uh, uh, statements from uh, the first PRO, Frank Umba. He was talking to journalists and he made these remarks that uh, SARS cannot be banned outrightly. That uh, there has been, you know, the end SARS movement, protests and agitations and calls for the outfit or department to be scrapped outrightly. He's saying that cannot happen because uh, SARS. Uh, as the department of the police is heavily involved in fighting uh, terrorists and bandits in the north. Well, this is new to us. How is it that SARS is fighting bandits in the north, fighting terrorists alongside the army, and the uh, rate of kidnapping, violence, you know, and all that in the news is steadily increasing? So obviously, I don't think they are effective in doing any of that. If they are effective, would have been hearing hearing of their, uh, you know, their victory or exploit or the achievements they've made in uh, combating crime in the north. We haven't heard any of this. Is the one you know coming out to say this is what is happening in the north, 
and a lot of it is in the news, by the way. So, we would like to know what you think about this story. Do you think uh, Mr. Amba is just trying to protect his colleagues or is saying the truth? Have you ever heard of uh, SARS fighting Boko Haram and uh, bandits in the north? I've never heard of it, so if you if you know something new, please add in the comment section. Thank you for listening to us. God bless you, and uh, have a good day.